Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Rory Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. Needless to say, it is really damn hard to kill Deadpool. No matter how badly you want to shut him up, or how many knives you can throw at him. So how exactly does one take down the guy who heals constantly and won't listen to a thing you say? We're about to find out. And I really do mean we, because with me today is the ruggedly handsome Ron McKenzie Lafergy. That can't be right. Hey guys, thank you Roya for the kind words that I totally didn't sneak into the script without you knowing. I couldn't resist this Deadpool list, plus I'm here to plug our sister channel top 10 gaming it's like top 10 nerd but for video games nah kelly's there too all right awesome so let's take a look at the top 10 deadpool weaknesses in the number 10 spot is Cows. The weakness that opens up our list is otherwise known as bovinophobia. A phobia is an irrational and excessive fear of a particular thing that often isn't a threat at all. Wade's claim that the otherwise gentle and slow moving animals scare the shit out of them. And they stare with soulless eyes waiting for you to make the wrong move. This doesn't stop him from teaming up with Hellcow, so he may be over the fear. And yes, that was a real thing. Next in number nine, we have women. Those good for nothing women always distracting our heroes and making things hard for them. Despite his physical shortcomings, Deadpool has netted himself a fair amount of ladies, and not always the best kind. And this means he's had a fair amount of distraction. In the movie, it was his relationship with Vanessa and his fear of her seeing his altered face that set him off on his dangerous quest. His own wife, Shikla, waged war against him. And don't even get me started on how his love of death fueled the rage of Thanos. Coming in at number 8 is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yes, we had to throw this one in because this was a disservice that turned so many people against Deadpool and almost tarnished his reputation. If anything, Deadpool's mark with a mouth reputation is his claim to fame, but they sewed his mouth shut and gave him optic blasts and retractable blades. Who is this man? It may be a character who goes by the name of Deadpool, but certainly not THE Deadpool. The easiest way to take someone down is to make others hate them, and trust me, this movie almost did just that. In the number 7 spot is children. Wade may come off as morally skewed, but even the immoral have a tiny soft spot somewhere. Just so happens his may be for the innocent youth. Damn kids always getting in the way. Not only would he refuse to kill a kid, but he also goes out of his way to make sure they are safe. He even offers himself as a shoulder to lean on. And when even interviewed to nanny for Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Not that he was chosen. Wise decision there. So let's just hope his soft spot doesn't get exploited. Up at number six, we got the Muramasa blade. This blade was fashioned for Wolverine using a piece of his soul. It's known to be able to cut through virtually any material and can also greatly reduce the capabilities of a healing factor. In fact, Wolverine has stated that this blade is the only thing on Earth that can kill him for good. And we know the similarities between Deadpool's and Wolverine's healing factor via the Weapon X program. So we best hope Deadpool stays on low. Logan's good side. Yeah, that'll that'll happen. Coming in at number five is clowns. Now this is a phobia I can get behind. Along with bovinophobia, Deadpool also suffers from a case of coolerophobia, the fear of clowns. Makes sense seeing as they've been the focus of almost every single horror movie. Wade even took it upon himself in the storyline Enema of the State to eliminate as many as he could. They do say you need to face your fears. I guess he took that quite literally. Next up at number four we have food. I mean, I can also relate to this one. If anyone wants to send me some beef jerky, feel free. But Deadpool's weakness to food doesn't just end at bribery or distraction. On one occasion in Night of the Living Deadpool, Wade awakens from a Mexican food coma to find the world has been plagued by zombies. If you can frequently eat so much you can sleep through a zombie apocalypse, you're pretty easy to catch off guard. Up next to number three is kittens. But who doesn't have a weakness? The fluffy balls of joy. Deadpool has called the little animals his only true weakness. Although we seem to be proving him wrong with this video. However, kittens have proved useful in disarming Deadpool and catching his cuddly attention. So perhaps the way to win against Wade isn't violence at all, but the love of a furry companion. In the number two spot, we got the Thanos curse. Earlier we mentioned that Deadpool's love of the entity Death spurred the jealousy and rage of Thanos. Well, to make sure Deadpool could never encounter Death again, Thanos placed a curse of immortality on Wade. Hence, Wade could never die again. However, if that curse were to be lifted as it was in Deadpool vs. Thanos, Wade would be susceptible to any ordinary Joe walking up and stabbing him in the chest, or shooting him in the skull, or poisoning his chimichanga 
mangas or whatever other mundane death comic writers come up with, as long as his healing factor's off. And finally, in the number one spot, we have himself. Of course, the biggest weakness Deadpool has is none other than his own insane, chaotic self. Many a time he seems to have it under control, but on the inside, he's really just a collection of madness waiting to implode. And this can get in the way of a lot of things. Usually, his illness manifests as comedy, but sometimes he has outbursts so violent he cannot control what he does, even if it means something he normally wouldn't want to do. And of course, his instability can be taken advantage of. Luckily, he's almost too unpredictable to predict his unpredictability. So those are the top 10 Deadpool weaknesses. Thank you very much for joining us today, Ron. It was a pleasure. It's cool being on Top 10 Nerd. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. It's such a Get new it? experience for you. My name's Rory Destroyer. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.